I just want to be sure that we understand, all of us, that we have shared vision and idea, why are we here? We have five countries present in this room who presented their quadrennial report in 2016. That is Zimbabwe as a host, and then Ethiopia, Rwanda, Namibia, and Eswatini. It's a meeting where we came together to share the experience on working on the UNESCO Quadriano Report on the diversity of cultural expression. Uh, today we are, we are looking at the, the processes that uh, different uh, member states to the 2005 conventions have followed in terms of the preparation of the Quadriano Report. Most of us uh, did this quadrennial periodic report for the first time in 2016. And are we are we ready to implement or are we ready to take ownership of the, uh, the convention? To read through the global report and and get examples of what has been done by others, and also appreciate what our shortfalls were. What actually happened? How did the process of compiling QPR? in 2016 go? How did it go? What were the challenges? Uh, it certainly is uh, proven in many countries that when you have a strong coalition, the government really sort of will liaise, will uh, make contact, will listen to the views of civil society because the convention calls for parties to the convention to support and recognize the value and the contribution of civil society. And I think this opportunity of having this global report also challenges you to have a look at the convention again. You now have a pretty good document to start working with. You're not starting from scratch. You have both a platform of discussion and you have a reference document and you have a framework which is the 205 convention and you have mobilized parties from civil society and other ministries to work with. That makes policies, you know, stronger, better informed, better adapted to the needs of the people that will benefit. So basically it was a platform for us to, sh to share what we have gone through, but also to learn from others uh, in view of improving our 2020 uh, quaternary report. Just to have experiences from various countries, various parties is uh, uh, enormous uh, advantage just to, to, to proudly uh, inform it. It has been a very learning uh, experience as well as sharing with other uh, countries uh, their reports. Uh, it's, it's a really an eye-opener. It's been uh, amazing, it's been really insightful and uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, sometimes artists we think like policies are not for us, <laughs> but they are for us and we need to understand them. Uh, I've really took so much uh, information and, and, and also ways forward to, to better work on the report because I feel I still have to work on the next one. <laughs> we came here with very high expectations in terms of learning but also in terms of sharing and I think the workshop has really been able to, to allow us to learn but also to share uh, our Namibian perspective in this very important convention. Uh, we believe that this will help us also when we go to, back to Namibia. I think also our colleagues from uh, Ethiopia have given us some best practices that we can also tap in, uh, especially in terms of uh, involving civil society and other organizations uh, in, in, in doing, uh, I mean, in putting together this, uh, this, uh, this report. So those are my key highlights, and I think that will really help us in moving forward. I hope, of course, that the colleagues also have taken something from the presentation of Namibia, and we hope that will also maybe have an impact on, on, on their endeavors. I found it very, very uh, interesting and uh, I've learned a lot of things. We uh, presented our experiences and we have learned a lot of things from, from, from other parties. It's very engaging. It's one of the best sessions I've ever had as an in, in terms of where everyone is a participant. It's not like you sit and you listen. Uh, you make your submission, you have to, I mean, make a presentation. So. It's one of the best experiences, I mean, in my, uh, in, in my life in the arts and culture industry. What do we do about QPR? Let's understand QPR mechanism in depth. Let's develop capacity. Thank you very much again. Hope to see you soon uh, next time. Uh,